All right, we are here at Dominion, Jim. We just got finished with a, a, a night of action, and I'm here with Will Camposano. Very nice to meet you, sir. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so you are a coach. You have your own gym. Yes. And uh, let's talk a little bit about that. So we had some had some fighters here tonight. Mm -hmm. you, you, were, you got to see some of the action. Tell us about your gym, where it is, and, and how long you've been in the, in the sport. We're... Uh we're at an MMA gym in Frisco, Texas. Uh, I don't know how loud I should be. You're, you're, you're doing I'm good. Fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're so we're at an MMA concept. We teach Muay Thai, boxing, MMA, and wrestling. Uh, okay. So uh, we uh, we've been open two years currently. Just started my third year. Excellent. So how long um, have you been coaching? Is it just this one gym, or were you coaching somewhere else first? Oh uh, well. I would say I would always coach it. I was always coaching when I was fighting, and okay. I was, but I, I was, I was always working with um, pro fighters and up and coming fighters. So uh, now it's more like full family. So I'm doing kids, moms, dads, the whole family. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back then. So you were a fighter before mm -hmm. before you became a coach. Tell us a bit about of what type of fighting you did, and mm -hmm. and how long you fought for. So I, I came up doing MMA. So uh, I started training at the age of 20. By 23, I was in the WC, 24 UFC. And then I uh, fought over in Japan, you know, came back and won the Le Le Legacy Fighting Championships. Uh, so I was always doing MMA. Um, you know, I was just fighting as much as I could. And then and I fought as hard as I could for as long as I could. And then, you know, eventually came over into business. Okay. So... Now you're coaching. What is one of the things that, that you really try to to start whenever you see fighters who are coming into your gym? What's one of some of the first things that a fighter really needs to learn if they want to have a career that you like you've had? Um, it's such a dynamic dynamic game right now. You really got to start young. You know, it's not like it was back 12, 15 years ago. Uh, you see guys training from the age of seven and eight. It's just like football, basketball, you know, baseball. You really got to keep them seasonal, just season after season after season. And uh, and then you'll get a young phenom like uh, the kid who fought tonight. Uh, yeah. What was his name? Uh, uh, this Romel Canales. Yeah. The kid's 18, I think. He's, yeah. He's, uh, he's going to be in a uh, future star. Yeah. So, that, so the, the last time we were here, he, he fought, and it was just – He's just a beast coming forward. I mean, his kicks are crisp and powerful. So you're saying that it starts at a young age. You can't just walk into a gym and a year from now, you're, you're kicking well, like that. It, it just depends. You know, you, you, you also got uh, talent, you know. I would yeah. say that hard work beats talent, and everyone says that. But the, the reality is that there's guys who could be world beaters within five years, and just no matter when they come in. Okay, so um, a lot of the fighters that we talked to tonight, they have aspirations for going pro. You've been there, done that. So mm. what are some of the things that you would say that if you were some of these young fighters, we talked to someone who's as young as 14, what, 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 what did you want someone to tell you when, when you were younger and had aspirations to go pro? What was something mm. that, some advice that you would have wanted to know? Well, when I was young, I was, I was just a street punk. I was yeah. fighting and you know, <laughs> getting in trouble. Uh, I would say now, uh, you know, you know, with certain age, you gotta, you can't treat a six-year-old like you would a four-year-old. And uh, at fourteen, you do gotta start becoming more competitive. Still, you're still a kid. Still have fun. You know, you shouldn't be competing year-round. Don't burn yourself out. That you know that also happens too. Yeah. Uh, just take your time, have fun, enjoy what you do. At the end of the day. But at some point, you got to get serious. At fourteen. But mm. no, I'm saying fourteen. Maybe you turn eighteen. You turn nineteen. Right, right. No, that's different. I mean, you start you start to become a young man. Eighteen, nineteen. That's different. You know, you're you're talking about like career. You're career minded now. Yeah. And uh, you're not necessarily making money, but you are making. Uh, career skills and that can translate to owning a gym being a promoter being a matchmaker mean whatever uh, you know so one of the things that's that I would imagine is challenging is is that being a gym owner is not just about being excellent in mm. martial arts but you've also got to be a business person you've mm. also got to be a marketer you've also got to mm. do all these other types of things to get your gym out there how do you right. find that transition 
from being a fighter who was very successful to now trying to create the next generation of fighters? Uh, what the transition was difficult because when you're a fighter, you're a fighter, and I was a fighter. My image was a fighter. Everything about me was involved in my fighting career, so it was difficult letting go. Uh, pride, ego, everything, you know. Uh, and then same thing, just like fighting, winning, losing, you will come across those situations in business where it doesn't go your way, and you know, so so forth and so forth. And yeah, uh, you just got to reinvent yourself, come back, be determined, and uh, and you will succeed. Awesome. So tell us a little about your, your gym. You have a website out there? So yeah, we you guys can uh, find us at CampuzanoMMA.com. Uh, that's C-A-M-P-U-Z-A-N-O-MMA.com. Uh, we're a, you know, we serve as a whole family. So if you're thinking about a five-year-old all the way up to 50-year-old. So uh, there's never a late time to start. All right. That's awesome. That's very awesome. Hey, thank you so much for sitting down, having a chat with us. I, I, I'd really love to learn more mm -hmm. about your, your MMA career and the types of things that you, you, you've seen. You said you've been to the, to the WEC, the UFC, yes, you've gone to Legacy Fighting Championships. Love to hear some of those stories sometimes. So would it be great if we could come back and talk to you some more about that someday? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm a good friend with George. And uh, any you know, anytime you guys want me to come over, just keep Give me a shout. Okay, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. And, Thank you, sir. And, you know, we'll, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Uh